I'm really interested in the mechanisms of cell biology and so thinking about how do cells work, how do they function, and the ways that we approach this and the things that I'm really interested in are looking at how pathogens can actually infect and manipulate the host, hijacking different machineries and to tell us more about how these pathogens can cause disease but also to give us really fundamental insights in how the host cell functions in an uninfected setting. The process that we're actually studying is how do bacteria spread from cell to cell. So once they're in the cells and they move around, they then have to move into the neighboring cells to cause a larger widespread infection. So my lab uh, studies uh, two intracellular bacterial pathogens, Listeria monocytogenes, which is the agent of uh, food poisoning, and um, Rickettsia parkeri, which causes a mild form of spotted fever. And so why are these two pathogens of interest? And it's because they both are intracellular bacterial pathogens, which means they have to get inside the host cell. And now that they're inside the host cell, they have all this access to all the machinery inside the host. And as part of their infectious life cycle, they can actually um, manipulate different processes to promote different stages of their life cycle. And so we're really interested in trying to see how these pathogens manipulate the host at this host pathogen interface by looking at how pathogens inside the cell can actually mediate that function. Because I have this very diverse training, I actually trained as an immunologist as a grad student, and then I switched into host pathogen work, all the while sort of having this major focus on cell biology. I've always just been supremely interested in taking a multidisciplinary approach to kind of get at these fundamental questions. We'll take advantage of microscopy to actually watch the pathogens moving around in the cell. We'll also use genetics to try to find the important genes responsible. And we'll even take advantage of biochemistry to sort of look at how the different gene products interact with the host. So one of the exciting findings is that we have done a genetic screen in Rickettsia to try to identify gene products that regulate infection. And we have a long list of these that we can start exploring. Well, one of them we've already published on, which affects cell-to-cell -cell spread, and we have a couple more that we're exploring just too to see how they help promote this process of spread. But longer term, I'd love to continue exploring other steps of the life cycle, trying to push again the genetic tools to really make better investigation of how these particular pathogens are regulating their infectious life cycle. And then also, it's, these are not the only two pathogens in the world, so how, how can we start to think about how do other pathogens interact with the host in similar or different ways? And the things that I really like, especially here, is that no two labs are doing the same thing. Everyone has a, a variety of different questions they're interested in, but the core of it is that everyone is really interested in mechanisms, trying to understand how things work. How does biology happen? So the environment that I'm also interested in trying to foster is one of open communication, thinking and talking about science from a variety of different fields and, and trying to incorporate different types of approaches to answer these questions that we're interested in and trying to be as creative and, and well as rigorous as possible. So those are the kinds of things that we would be trying to promote in the lab.